Good morning, Honor. Good morning. I almost did that. Then I okay. followed the way um, the case was Just doing. a quick one. Um, what can you say about today's uh, court sitting? What are your comments? Well, we, I'm, of course, very happy that uh, the court has confirmed my election. Uh, from the beginning, uh, I was confident of uh, what we have done, what we had done, uh, how we had conducted ourselves during the campaigns, and uh, like we've always said, the real campaign uh, happens ha happens uh, in that five years, uh, both for uh, the party, the government, and the candidate. So for the people of Mporoposo, uh, I believe that they had already made their decision even before the 12th of August because of uh, the work that government had done in Mporoposo and of course how I represented them. Uh, this process is very important, it's part of the electoral process uh, where an aggrieved party you know, has a right to a petition. Uh, but uh, uh, it doesn't come as a surprise uh, because uh, that election was won fairly. Uh, we had conducted very peaceful campaigns. Uh, so we're very happy that uh, the court had delivered this statement. Thank you, sir. Um, Mr. Acting President. Uh, first, I'd like to thank God for this judgment. And uh, secondly, to thank the team of lawyers who represented Brian Mondovili so very well. Uh, this doesn't come to us as a surprise. Uh, we were following the appeal and uh, for all intents and purposes, this was a very frivolous appeal. Uh, the High Court already decided that Brian was legitimately elected and the grounds of appeal, as we have heard today, were just fishing in the large ocean, hoping that they would catch some, something that can take hold. Uh, it is saddening for me, especially that uh, even frivolous cases such as this are being thrown out without costs being awarded to especially the people who won cases at the High Court and also in the Concord. It is obvious that uh, the people who are being dragged into the Concord on such appeals are having to spend a lot of money to pay lawyers and so on. And uh, it would have been nice for the Concord to also look at the merit of these appeals because some of these appeals are really not worth even bringing before the Concord. Nonetheless, I'm happy that uh, Brian Mundubile will continue in Parliament as leader of the opposition and uh, all I have to ask him to do now is to keep this away from him. I'm sure that it was draining him of... Uh, his time, but now that it's behind him, I'm sure that he's going to give uh, his spirited leadership to members of the opposition in parliament. We want to see the firebrand of uh, Brian Mandubile coming into this whole thing, and I want to congratulate him for getting a successful judgment. Thank you. Council, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, what are your quick comments? Uh, mine is very simple. Uh, of course, justice has been done. Uh, both parties are, we are heard by the court. Uh, the High Court initially dismissed the petition, but of course, as is constitutional right, uh, the appellant decided to appeal, and uh, the Corn Court has, uh, I think, uh, stood with the High Court judgment and dismissed the appeal because all the grounds of appeal were found without without merit. And uh, in that regard, I would congratulate Honorable Mundovile for his uh, victory, and uh, well, we'll say justice has been delivered. Well, thank, thank you, Good uh, morning, Honorable. Good morning, thank what you. Your quick comments? No, my quick comment is just that uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big relief to me uh, as, as we, um, as you know, we, I and the Honorable Mundubile provide leaderships to our, to our colleagues in Parliament, and so when your colleague is uh, being disturbed, it uh, it affects uh, a lot of things in terms of uh, managing issues of uh, our parliamentarians. Uh, now that this is put aside, we 
uh, hoping that the few cases that have remained uh, for some of um, uh, my members can equally be dis uh, disposed of uh, so that we can now focus uh, on uh, saving our people. It's uh, time wasting and it's also costly uh, for uh, our members to, 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 to be trotting back and forth uh, in, the, in the courts. So we are, we are happy today, but we are looking forward to the other few cases that have remained uh, to be disposed of so that um, uh, we, we continue uh, saving the people and doing the mandate people have bestowed on all of us. So, uh, it's a uh, congratulations to Honorable Mr. Uh, Leader of Opposition uh, for this very important um, uh, day. And uh, we are looking forward to, to, to celebrating the other victories that, uh, that, 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 that could be remaining. But we also want to commend the legal team uh, who have been around who have been with the, the Honorable Member and other members in making sure that their cases are hit. And we also commend the judiciary for um, uh, the work they continue to, to, to do uh, as mandated by the Constitution. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.